So in order to do that, we need to first, as I said, understand our learners. Now we start to understand our learners as soon as they arrive on the platform, because someone who just, you know, clicks, so you go to, to the Coursera website and is and encountering 2,000 courses doesn't know when to start and where to start, and they might get scared and just go away. So we need to be able to recommend a course to someone that we've never really interacted with, otherwise they'll just get lost. And so in order to do that, we need to have what we call the cold start onboarding uh, process. Um, and in order to get people to at least some content that might be relevant to them. So to do that, we look at a whole bunch of implicit features. We get as much as we can from just the standard user flow. Uh, the country that they came in, which you can get from their IP address, some, amount, some level of economic classification, uh, the registration URL, the referring website, and so on. So you look at this and it sounds great, but you can tell, I'm sure, that there is not nearly enough information there to really tell us what the user is looking for. So that's the bad news. The good news is that it turns out that education is not the same as a lot of other web applications. If you go to standard wisdom in, in web practice, they will tell you that you should minimize the friction in the enrollment process. You should ask the user the minimum number of questions. That's their name and their email address. Turns out that that might be true in other web applications, but in education, users love to be understood. And so the more questions you ask them up to a point, the happier they are because they feel like you're, someone is actually making the effort to understand them. And so we've gone away, uh, departed from standard practice, and had uh, a much more in-depth onboarding flow where people are asked questions about what they actually care about, what their career goals are, and so on. And by doing that, we've been able to create uh, a much more informed recommendation system. The problem, though, is that even if you ask users at a high level what kind of categories they might be interested in, there's still way too many options to offer them. And so um, we can't just go and classify users into uh, 2,000 categories corresponding to our 2,000 courses. So in order to do that, and I'm getting a little bit technical, which in this audience I can do, I don't usually do that, um, is we train a two-layer classifier where at the highest level, um, we first cluster our courses into 100 clusters using a TCNE embedding on the course uh, co-enrollment matrix. And once we... Uh, figure out which cluster the user is more likely to belong to, we then have a second order classifier that allows us to recommend a specific course given the cluster that we've recommended. So it's a two-level um, so two hierarchy that uses uh, decision trees at each level. And it turns out that that gives a much better set of recommendations to the learners that gets a much higher click-through rate than what we had before.